Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this natural makeup look perfect for New Year's Eve. And this one has a little bit of touch of glitter on the lip. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Thank you. So we're going to start straight to it. So um, for this look, we're going to be using this Modern Renaissance. This is, is one of my first and favorite palettes that Anastasia Beverly Hills brought out. It was probably like two, two years ago and I have been playing with this baby for quite much, as you can see here. So for this uh, natural look for New Year's, I'm gonna be using this palette right here. And I always like this raw sienna right here as my transition color so i'm gonna use that i'll be going with a morphe and 441 brush and i'm just gonna dig in this baby right here we're gonna put this on our crease as so and we're gonna take it upwards So I want this look to really look natural because we're going to be using a little bit more color on our lip. So that's what we're doing for today's New Year's Eve natural look. But with still that pop on your lips. Now we're going to go in with this burnt orange with the same brush and go this over our transition color so, so now taking my morphe m518 brush I'm gonna go back to the palette and take this real gar, like orangey burnt color. And I'll be placing this on the outer of my crease, as so. And just take it forward to our crease. But I wanna focus more on the outer of my crease. And we're just going to pat this so that way we can get that color. Take it a little bit forward. I'm going to be using this fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything through. Well, I do want a little bit of shine on my half lid, so we're gonna go in with this one. This is like a gold shimmer called Primavera. So I'm gonna be using like a flat brush. Using this one, this is the Morphe and 408 brush. So for to get that actual pigment, I'm gonna be using some of my Smashbox um, photo finish primer and just give it a little little sprays and just go in the palette and take Primavera you can see all the pigment that it got there and I'm gonna place this where I want it and we're just gonna leave it there I'm gonna go back and get more for the other side And I'm gonna go back to that rear gar eyeshadow and kind of just take this back to kind of blend everything through. 
Well, now we're gonna be using our mascara. I'm gonna be taking this Bonjour. I'm not even pronouncing this right. This is a uh, Lancome Bonjour Big mascara. And I like this mascara because of the wand. I got this sample size. So we're just gonna brush our lashes to get them set for some falsies. And this is one of the steps that I always like to do is prep my lashes before. So for lashes, we're gonna be using Lily Lashes in Goddess right here. I've used this one several times and they're still bomb, you guys. Look at that. So the secret is just to make sure whenever you take them off, you're gentle and just make sure you take out the excess glue that that you have whenever you're done. So as always, I'm gonna be using my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. <laughs> to look flawless I'm be using the pore professional pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores so I'm placing this this is from um, benefit I'm placing this on the areas that I have more pores that are visible and I love this primer because it makes your skin like instant, instantly like soft. <sighs> I'm using my what's it called, Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation, and I am in the color medium. So I'm gonna be placing this on my face with the applicator. Shark Tape Concealer and I believe I'm using medium so we're gonna put this under under eyes for the ojeras and this product a little bit goes a long way so just keep that in mind you guys taking my MAC prep and prime translucent powder um, just that I'm be setting it as I go I'm not gonna bake because I really don't like this translucent powder it gives me a lot of flashback and you know on holidays you're looking cute you know you're with your friends your family you want pictures then if you don't want that flashback this is not like a really recommend, but it's what I have right now. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So what I mean that I'm not gonna bake is that I'm just gonna pat the powder on under my eyes so that way it could set there. So we're patting this. You 
going to get a little bit more. I'm going to be bronzing my face. I'm going to be using my Smashbox Bronzer Light. This is in the Warm Matte Angle Brush. I'm just going to go in. I want to get rid of the double chin, so I'm going to go in with my bronzer as well and kind of line up my chin right here. And also, I'm going to bronze my nose. So, I'm going to be taking this like angle brush as well. This is the Lexi 207 Medium Angled Shading, but I use it for my nose. So I'm going to take this. For this, I do need a mirror. So i go in. <laughs> blush, I'll be using my Lorac. This one is a blush hot and spicy. Now I do want to cut and snatch my cheek bone, so I'm just gonna do this right here. You see that? Just gonna take the setting powder and just gonna cut right there. Do the same thing with the other section right there. Just cut as uh, so. I'm going to the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using the same colors that I use on my lid. I'm just going to be taking the raw Vietnam and also the World Gar eyeshadow and just placing on my lower lash line. <laughs> So now going back to my mascara, I'm going to be putting a little mascara on my lower lashes. And this is a big step. If you miss this part right here, it makes a big difference on your look. So make sure you don't miss this part. taking this crown like brush and just take the excess powder that I have now for highlight because we want to be a little bit of popping I'll be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills um rice highlight you be using my morphe n51 zero highlighter brush that's so just we're gonna highlight this cheeks Ooh, you see that okay i'm gonna highlight the other section on the other side Popping. Um, to make my eyes pop, I'll be taking also this highlighter and I'll be using my Morphe N507 brush and just put this on what's it called? Put it on the inner of my eye so that that way it could give me that pop that I want. That, like, ooh. Uh, so. I got this mini, <laughs> this is a Seattle London glitter flip. I don't know if you guys heard this. I think it was this here, if I'm not mistaken, the beginnings of the year. 
um, Siate brought, if I'm not pronouncing that wrong, Siate came up with this uh, like uh, consistency of uh, liquid lipstick, liquid lipstick that if you put this on your lips and you let it dry for a little bit and you put your lips together and kind of massage it like so, the glitter, you know, got exposed. So I got this baby. I don't own any of this uh, liquid lipsticks, but I was lucky enough to get this one of one of my Ipsy bags. So for this look, I'm gonna be using this one right here and we're gonna see how it comes out. This one is infamous. And this is beautiful, like, like a brick color. So let's see how this one works. <laughs> So you guys, we are back. So my lips look kind of so. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm hmm. How's the glitter looks? Mm. More the more you press on it, the more that it comes out. How gorgeous is that to set up everything and for the finished product we're gonna be using our Mac prep and prime almost out of this baby and we're just gonna spray our face to set everything what I like to do if I'm in a hurry I like to get just a card kind of just blend just kind of blow this out so that way it can dry faster and like I'm always in a rush, so I always do I always do this step. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys at the next one. Bye.